I really think that the young people were more prepared for most parts and willing to jail than some of the older persons. Some of the older persons were standoffish. They had, uh, you had some of these looks in their eye and you know, some of them were offended probably by me because you know, they wanted you to look him down and I, I don't look down. If you notice all the conversation we've had, I look you straight in the eye. I was taught that by my mom and dad. If you can't look a person straight in the eye, then it seems like you have a problem. You've done something wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Mom and dad were always open. Um, general statement was simply, now you know how to act, you know how to behave, you know who you are. So go and do what you need to do. If you couldn't really explain to somebody who you were, if I were to say, uh, you know Gordon Peterson? Yeah. Oh, you Gordon's boy. Hey, you Gordon's boy. I know how Gordon is. Gordon Lee Peterson was my father. Sarah Magdalene Lovett Peterson was my mother. We were rural kids, and to us, Roseboro was a town because you're talking about what, a distance of seven to eight miles between you and Roseboro. And so that was like another culture. They were, oh, they thought they were sharp. They were shrewd, you know, cause they city kids, they had all these things, but we were the fortunate ones. Our coach, Donnie Ray Nilla, he just came and it appeared he had some problem with his car. Dad was an awesome mechanic. He had my father and said, uh, did you check my spark plug wires? One of the wires broke off. And maybe as if somebody pulled it off so that they could come up and say that the car is skipping or what have you. My father told me, says, son, bring that anvil over here. 100 pounds or so, pretty heavy. And that's what I did. Boom, dropped it. A few days, I got a letter. Let's <laughs> go. Played football for one all. It was a learning experience. Here you are, you're talking about your junior in high school. We never had a football team. You know, you gotta learn how to put on the pads, all those things, and you know, all you need to do is put one part of padding on backwards and every, everybody's laughing. The second year, I, I, I felt like I knew what was going on. I have been here, I have been a part, I have worked. I have earned the right to be here. So there's no need for me worrying about what's going on this way or that way. And the second year, I, I think more kids came and it was a good thing that some of us had been there the first year because the second year they came a little afraid. Don't worry about it, just be yourself. Don't be silly, do what you're supposed to do. It ought to work out all right. Teachers being thoughtful and just open and above board made a difference with the students. There was Miss well, Helen Moore. Miss Moore was, was a trip. She was, she was a jovial lady. All right, come on in. When you come in, make sure you bring your English in. Want your best, Grandma? Hey, boom. Mr. Denning left a great impression on my life. I never will forget, I drove cars for him. Gosh. He had one of them big old long deuce and a quarter. Dad knows that's a Buick, but we just call him a deuce and a quarter. <laughs> I, I got labeled. Oh, that's principal's boy, Dad. Okay, that's fine. We graduated and said goodbye. Four years later, I come back. So I was looking for a job. Went to some of the schools to interview and went by to talk to Mr. Denning. And he said, it's between the job here at Lakewood and the job at Bland Elementary School. I'm looking for you to get one or the other. But if you don't, so I'll tell you what I'll do, if you will it. You can come and work for me as a teacher assistant. And between your teacher assistant and your coaching, I'll see that your salary is the same as that of a teacher until you get in. I, I, I thought that was a great vote of confidence. I was teaching at Bland Elementary School and they did not have any type of athletic program or what have you, so 
I was fortunate enough to talk to the principal, and he said that if we wanted a program, we could get one. Uh, this group of rabble rousers, that's good kids. That good kid, they tickle me. We lost every game except our last game. If I had to suspend a young man and I called and couldn't get the parent to come to me, then I may have to drive out to the house or drive out to the field. And I found out it, it made a lot of difference because the parents wanted the kids to be in school. And when you drove out to a farm and daddy's got about 500 acres that he's trying to get planted and he's trying to tend and here this son is cutting up and you go and say, Mr. Jones, James will not behave. Now, I brought him to you what you want to do. It began to make a difference. And the thing about it that is vitally important, if you ever break down the barriers, it's like dominoes. It begins to spread. Cousins, brothers, friends, and associates begin to tell other people. And some of the potential problems that you may have had, you will not have because people know you won't tolerate it. But people will do everything to you and run over you and walk on you or whatever it is if you allow them to. I believe this was at Lakewood High School. We were doing some kind of fundraiser to dunk the principal. It costs you X number of dollars. Uh, they made quite a bit of money on that. <laughs> Are you? And I laughed quite a few times because a lot of the kids thought they could really throw. And if it was like a dollar or throw or what have you, you throw and miss. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate your dollar. Oh, I knew you were going to circle back through the line. You were, yeah, you, you're going to spend four or five dollars, but you're going to blend those. Bless you. But uh, that, that was for the benefit of the school. Fine, fine. And you? I'm doing good. Good, good. I feel like throughout the years that I was in education, I had educators that cared about me. That's all the way through. I'm talking about Roseberry right on through RIS. They made an impression on me because I was excited about the fact that they were helping people. It excited me that they encouraged and inspired me to want to learn. And I, I guess the bottom line is I bought in. <laughs>